What is up everyone? It is the random name 951 bringing you another review on one of my Gundam MSI action figures and today this is a re-review of the um, MK2 Titans version. Um, the other variant you guys might know better is the MK2 AEUG version and I'll show you real quick. Um, Titans version because they're blue and uh, I think in one of the Gundam series uh, the Titans have this blue color. Um, but here's the AEUG version, uh, original version. Uh, really nice. I'm thinking about getting one, but I have to see. They look like, the, I mean, they look really cool, really cool figures. Especially the Titans version, they look really awesome as well. Um, but yeah, so um, basically, there's um. There, you could kind of army build these guys. There's three different numbers. There's one, two, and three. Um, I have one and I have three, and for some reason I don't have two because it's just kind of odd. You can't find it too often. So, um, yeah, and these guys were cheaper than the than the uh, than the one and the three. So that's why I have these guys. Um, they're um, I gotta admit these guys are really cool figures. But they need a little bit of like modification before they become um as good as they are. So I'll show you what I mean. So um since this is uh, this is the O3 box, I'll do the I'll use the O3 and I'll have like the O1 just in back for uh, support. I don't know. I kind of like how the O3 looks. I don't think I'm gonna change his. Uh, I think I'm gonna leave the O3 in the back because he just looks cool like that. I'm gonna <laughs> do the reveal on the O1 unit. So here's the O1 unit. He comes with a lot of weapons, and I mean a lot. So let's get to it. So first, you can see he has like a beam rifle in his hand. Very cool. It comes with three different um, <clears throat> like uh, clips for the weapon or packs. There's one on the weapon right now, and there's two that are um, on the shield. Um, he also comes with a hyper bazooka, which is a which has a clip that could go to his uh back and uh, just store there. And this hyper bazooka also has a clip, um, but the thing is, the hyper bazooka's clip it does it doesn't really come off. Let me show you what I mean. You can see it's attached. Yeah, it's actually glued on there, but if you wiggle it off a little bit, it has like some weak super glue, so you could just um put it on the side of his hip, which is what I did. But um, it, it I mean <clears throat> it could be a good and a positive because it's good because you know you could kind of mess with it and pretend you're reloading the hyper bazooka. It's bad though because it could get lost, so it's kind of a win lose situation. Um, I did do some modifying. Um, if you ever do get this figure, I don't know if it applies to the AEUG version, but um, the shield does not stay on very well. Um, so let me take it off. It comes off really easily, and um, to 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 make it work, I had to <coughs> excuse me in my throat. I had to do some modifying, so um. At first, I had to like. I think I don't think I did the modifying to. No, I didn't do the modifying to the shield part. I had to do the modifying to the arm, which the shield goes in. And basically, I put some um. Uh, Joshua Gadamo, another uh, another um, really like famous, you could say, gun collector. Um, <clears throat> like for some loose parts, he recommends using sticky tack or something. I don't really have sticky tech, I'm not too sure what it is, so um, he said use some super glue for stuff like this. So basically I used some super glue so it would act like a, like the mold, and when I put super glue, it would, uh, when you would put the, the parts in, it would make a better fit, so it wouldn't uh, get as, um, the, what's the word, so it would fit better and basically stay in place better. So I put some super glue there, and um, that, that helped the shield stay in a lot better, so let me show you. So here it goes. So thanks to the super glue, this thing doesn't come off because if you didn't, if I, <clears throat> from my experience so far with these two figures, both the shields that go on the arm um, peg, they the peg hole they don't stay on very well and they fall off really easily. So you can see I'm shaking it pretty violently and uh, still on there pretty good. Move just a little, but not much. So um, definitely gluing these things will help. Not gluing, but um. 
You could glue it, but I wouldn't recommend gluing it. Um, no, I'm sorry. Let's see here, move to the side. Um, so like adding some glue or like um, I don't know something sticky. Well, not something sticky, but like sticky tag or something like that helps. The same with the ammo clips. It took me a while to get them to the way I wanted them, and uh, to they don't usually fit in the shield too well. Like <clears throat> when you um get them out the first time. They're stuck on there pretty well, but when you get them off, when you, like, say, get this thing brand new, they won't fit very well inside the shield. So what I had to do was, um, I actually had to apply super glue within the, within the shield, I mean, the ammo pack. I don't know why it's so bad, but it's not really zooming in very well. But I actually had, you can see there's, like, some shininess in there. It's from the super glue. I had to put some in there. So, um... <clears throat> the ammo packs will stay in better. I didn't really have to put too much super glue in there. Um, it sticks in really well now. The biggest part that I had to worry about was the shield. The shield's actually divided into two parts, and I had to actually keep modifying the shield because uh, see here, because this the shield easily comes apart. It's just it's just crazy how easy it comes apart. So I had to keep applying glue to um to this part of the shield you can see there's like shininess so basically you keep putting um keep putting glue so you get like a better tighter fit for the shield so it wouldn't stay i mean so it wouldn't come off and that's what i did and it actually came out pretty well shaking it pretty violently if you have i don't know from my experience like i said if you have regular titans version right out of the box then your shield isn't going to be very good it's going to be flimsy it's going to come off very easy but other than that, I mean, it just needs a little TLC. Um, really, it's a really awesome figure. Um, take off the gun real quick. Show you that. <clears throat> See? So here's the beam rifle. It's a really aggressive looking beam rifle. Looks pretty cool. Um, your ammo pack goes here. And detaches. So you could put another ammo pack, and uh, this one also has super glue. Um, super gluing, or not like not super gluing it, but like putting super glue and letting it dry, you know, to kind of form a better, <clears throat> you know, like a better um mold for the for the plastic to kind of you know fit in better. Really helps um, with the gun packs because they're kind of loose when when it when you don't no. no. It, but as you can see, it's really, um, I'm picking at it, and it's pretty good. It's pretty stuck in there. Um, I mean, basically, for me, this figure, I had to kind of modify it. This is, like, the first figure I actually modified a bit, having to use super glue. So we'll take a look at the um, Hyper Bazooka next. And uh, here's the Hyper Bazooka. You could take it off the clip. So... See here. One second. Nizzle my nizzle. All right, give me a second. Sorry about that. All right, and we are back. And uh, here's the hyper bazooka. Really awesome. I took off the clip, so uh, like I said earlier, so it looks like you could reload it. I had to put some glue on that part of the peg that's sticking out. I think I had to put some glue on, yeah, you can see a shininess in there, right there. So let me show you what I mean. So here's the um, clip that goes in bazooka. I, actually, I think I actually put some glue in here too as well in there. You can see some glue. So it fits in really nice. Let me see here if I can do this. Sorry about the lighting, this is all bad right now. Yeah, so here's the hyper bazooka. The clip fits in really well now. Before, um, if you take it off from the super glue, it doesn't, uh, because this thing's super glued in in a way. Not too much super glue, but um, enough to keep it from falling. So if you do, you're going to have to kind of modify it because it won't, it doesn't stand very well once you do take it off the hyper bazooka. Um, 
I know uh, th this guy he, for me, like I said from my experience, he didn't. He, I had to modify him so he could be good. Um, his backpack is really awesome. Oh, let me just take it off real quick. Same with the backpack. My backpack was loose on him, so what I had to do was the uh, same thing. Apply more super glue inside there. Can't see it too well, but I did put super glue in the middle part. You can see some shininess. So um the backpack would have a tighter, better fit. Um didn't apply any super glue to the backpack itself. Backpack though is uh really, really cool, really awesome. Um just wish this camera would focus better. Uh you got some stuff here. And actually the, the backpack has hidden beam saber hilts on it, which are right here. And they come off just like that. And they go in with the hole they have. And they fit in there. So it's really cool how they how they um kinda hide within the backpack and the backpack has nice little uh you know tubes. So it has some detail there. Really, really nice, really nice. Give me a second. Alright everyone, so I'm back again. And um so let's see here. We gone over the shield, the bazooka, and the blazer beam rifle. And we just went over the backpack and I told you how the um beam savers are hidden within the backpack. So um not too much left to review this Gundam. Probably just some articulation and uh, just some detail. He also comes with this Vulcan pod that um, attaches to his head. Because I guess his actual head doesn't have Vulcans. But he has like this Vulcan pod. Which looks like a little DJ headset which goes on around his head of course. And on the box it says right here it says... um. It says a Vulcan pod can be attached to head, so uh, you know, shoots Vulcans there. Really cool, really awesome. I really want this AEUG version because you can see a lot more of how it looks with the um, white color than the Titans color, but nonetheless, the Titans color really looks freaking cool. Oh yeah, so um, that's about it for the figure. Go over some stuff. Um. Nothing too crazy about it. it has a uh, single joints, so uh, you know, get that regular up and down MSIA kind of thing going on. Um, single joints in the knees. I take it back. I think the the knees the knees have semi double joint. You have the joint down there, and then there's a joint up here that that goes. But I think due to a mold, due to the mold, it doesn't go further than that. So you do have like a double joint to knee, I believe. And then the this is kind of cool. Um, on the ankle, there's like pistons kind of looking. So when you go down so far, it gives you like this piston kind of look. Pretty cool. I thought that was kind of cool how they added that. So it's like a little piston. Oh, shoot. It's like pistons, I guess. I don't know. See how, yeah. And, um... I mean, he kind of has the same thing going with the boosters. He has, like, mini uh, Alex Gundam boosters, I guess, in a way. Um, let's see here. What else we got? Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. For the hands, I actually had to cut them a little bit because uh, that the finger's pretty... Um, <laughs> You don't get much finger for the trigger finger when you get it. It's just like a little stub hanging out. So I had to cut it a little bit more so you could get the gun more wrapped around the finger. Um, he has, you know, the, the number on him, the 01. 01 on the leg or knee, shoulder, and um, butt. And yeah, and he has the Titans version colors, of course. So it looks like a, it's blue, but in the camera it looks kind of like purple. And then, what you also get, I think you get six hands, so you get two closed fists. Get two closed fists. Oh, let's see, I'll take it back. You get a couple hands in here. So, two, four, five, like, you get like two, four, six, like seven. Let's see, what hands do you get? Okay, so there's a 
One is open hand for the beam rifle and hybrid bazooka from the bean saber and the closed fist. I think I'm counting wrong. Something's wrong here. Let's see here. Two, four. Oh, my bad. I, I, okay, so I thought this was a hand, but this, um, for instance, uh, this part is the little plug. And if you don't have the hyper bazooka attached, you could put the little plug and it covers up this hole on the... Uh, on the Titans Gundam or this uh, MK2 Gundam, so yeah, that, that, I had mistaken that for another finger. And then you get the beam sabers that attach the beam saber hilts, of course. So um, yeah, that's our um, Titans version MK2 broken down. And uh, like I said, there's three different, well, just three unit numbers: so 01, 02, and 03. And uh, you know, I put some duct tape on this so I like I could different differentiate the shields if I were to ever um, swap them or something. That's why I usually do I put like duct duct tape on certain things on um, the weapons and stuff. But yeah, um, again, really awesome figure. Um, out of the box, like, it's a little disappointing at first because uh, it's, some of the stuff is not all there. Like the shield, like I said, the shield kind of falls off. The shield kind of breaks in half too easily if you if you, um, you move it. The the cartridges or the ammo packs that go on the guns kind of don't stick on too well. And same with the um, yeah, it's just like you'll have to do a little bit more fine. I I did I done a video to kind of like explain it. It's a really old video I done when I got these guys, but yeah. Um. Alright guys, I think that's it for this Gundam MK2 Titans version video. Probably the last video for the night, but uh, yeah, I put up quite a bit of videos today. So, um, just want to say bye, and uh, thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned. I still have more stuff coming in, I know, right? Hopefully, I'll be getting one of them tomorrow, or uh, tomorrow or Thursday, we'll see. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and uh... Peace.